This is calculator question number 27 from the March 2019 SAT. College Board is asking about a linear equation and under what conditions for this constant A does this equation have infinitely many solutions. College Board often asks for either zero solutions or infinitely many solutions for linear equations and in both cases you're looking for the same solution. For two lines that have no solutions, they have to be parallel. For no lines that have in, for two lines that have infinitely many solutions, they have to be the same line. So in either case you have the same slope. Since the right hand side is a constant, slope zero, to have infinitely many solutions, the left hand side has to be a constant, slope zero. So let's take a look at that algebraically and then I'll look at a couple a couple other options. I have AX minus Let's distribute the negative 4 to 3. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. And then negative 4 times 2x would be negative 8x. And I want that to be negative 12. Combining my two x terms, I have 8 minus a minus 8x minus 12 equals negative 12. And that's true if a minus 8 equals 0, which means a equals positive 8 if I add 8 to both sides. So that would be choice D. Alternatively, I could substitute in the answer choices and see if this left-hand side simplifies to negative 12. So trying choice A, negative 8x minus 12 minus 8x is not equal to negative 12 because this is negative 16x minus 12. If I try negative 2, negative 2x minus 12 minus 8x is still not negative 12. And while it may seem silly, there's not a lot of thinking going on and it's not a lot of time either. How about positive 2? Choice C, 2x minus 12 minus 8x is still not negative 12 because that's negative 12 minus 6x. How about choice D? AX becomes 8x and then minus 12 minus 8x and 8x minus 8x is 0x so that is negative 12 and just substituting in the answers we do see that choice D is the correct answer. A third option is the graphing calculator. I can put the left side into y1 and look at the table of values if I put negative 8 in for A in Y1, my table shows Y1 varying. It's not always negative 12, only at X equals 0. How about if I put negative 2 in? Again, at 0 I get negative 12, but then I get negative 22, negative 32, so that didn't work. What if I try instead of negative 2, positive 2, and my values at 0, 1, 2 are negative 12, negative 18, negative 24. That's not a constant negative 12. Let's try positive 8. With, x, with a equals positive 8, I get negative 12 for y1 for all x in my table. So the calculator verified that choice D is the correct answer. There's several choices there. When you're solving a linear equation, particularly with a calculator, you can put the left side in y1 and the right side in y2 and either find the intersection or verify that they have infinitely many intersections or you can solve it algebraically by hand. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.